Hello everyone and welcome to a new and exciting journey into computer programming. My name is Cornelius and I'm excited to take you through this amazing journey into the techie and geeky side of life. You soon find yourself providing tech solutions. Every great app that you see out there, be it web, mobile, desktop, is as a result of a group of people sitting down and writing many, many lines of code so that you can enjoy what we have today. For example, Facebook, Twitter, Candy Crush, Gmail, Angry Birds, and a whole lot of other cool apps. That's programming in a nutshell. It's actually telling the computer what to do systematically following a certain process. How is this possible? Well, that's where the programming languages come in. And just like I'm able to communicate with you in English, a computer has languages it understands. And these are what we call the programming languages. Cool, right? Long time ago, before I was born, actually before my dad was born, before the 1940s, there was only one programming language called the machine language. Now machine language looked like a bunch of random numbers arranged in zeros and ones and was not very readable to humans. It was kind of like trying to read the DNA of someone and decoding how they look. That's not gonna work. But that's where it all started and all computers were invented that way during that time. You can still program using machine language, but that would be like taking a walk from Kisumu to Mombasa and getting lost somewhere in Nakuru, so it's just too complicated. That's why during the 1940s, another language was developed, the assembly language. Now this was much better than machine language, but it was still hard to read. And as technology continued to evolve, we shifted from assembly language to what we have now, the high level languages. Now, high-level languages try and copy the English language and therefore are much, much easier to read and understand. There's so many names that are mentioned in the history of programming, but one name stands out, Dennis Ritchie. Now, this guy in the 1970s, he created a programming language that is like the father of all these high-level languages. That language is referred to as C. Most modern-day programming languages borrow heavily from C. So what are some of the examples of the modern day programming languages? We have so many. In fact, for every alphabetical letter, there's a programming language and each of them have a specific function that they perform. However, we have some which have stood out and have received a lot of support from the developers communities. For example, Java is used to build the famous Android operating system that is used in most phones today. Python made most of Google. PHP was used by Mark Zuckerberg in a dorm room on a diet of pizza and coffee to make Facebook and many other brilliant examples. Now on this course, however, we shall learn about three popular languages that you interact with every day without knowing it. And that is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. These languages are used to build web pages and most of the web content that we interact with every day. Stay tuned for this and more on programming. See you next time.